Hi everyone, it's Dre A and welcome to the Alsace region of France. Strabo, excuse my French, <laughs> actually has an airport so we flew there from Madrid and from the airport the trains are pretty well connected so it's easy to get to the other little towns around the region and we decided to stay in Strabo because there's a train that goes directly to Paris and it takes about an hour and 45 minutes. How the heck did I forget about the stairs in Europe in general? <laughs> I completely forgot about it and the floors here are pretty narrow so you have to be very careful and if you have a lot of luggages, good luck just bringing those up there. But our Airbnb was actually really convenient and it was comfortable for a family to stay in. Who are you talking to? With a, with a white shirt. What do you say? What are you saying? Hello, both of you. I want to stress the location of this Airbnb. It was pretty awesome because just right outside are restaurants and the city center is really close and there's grocery stores. But keep in mind the grocery stores in France do close early. The view was so great. I just had to capture it at night as well. We went mid-May to this region and the weather was perfect. It wasn't too hot and the region does get some rain. So if you do get some rain in May, that is pretty typical. We just got really lucky with the weather while we were there. Since we've been traveling to Europe for a while, this is probably one of my favorite cities. I used to like Paris, but my previous experience didn't really want me to go back there anytime soon. And this place is pretty off radar. I feel like tourists don't typically come here. And we actually came here five or six years ago, but we only stopped by on our way to Switzerland. So I'm glad we were able to explore a little bit more and stop by this time around. One thing I've always wanted to do was bike in France. I mean, Tour de France, come on, you have to bike in France at one point. And so we found a place to rent bikes in uh, Igusheim, I think is how you pronounce it. And we initially wanted to start in Colmar because that's probably one of the more popular towns in this region. But the way that the company described it to us is that it is easier to start in this town versus Colmar just because Colmar does get crowded. It is very touristy and I'm glad we did this because we initially didn't want to come here because there's no connection to a train station that's close by. The closest is Colmar which is actually only 10 minutes away but we ended up taking an Uber so there are Ubers in France. And if a guy tells you he's the only Uber in town, that's not true. There are other Ubers in town. It does take a little while to get one, but you will get one eventually. What a downer coming here. It was so crowded, but I guess that's expected. This is a pre pretty popular town and luckily for this area, there are other towns to visit that are not as crowded. And so you can either 
go over to those towns by train or by bike like we did so I, I mean I don't know I don't think it was really worth it to stop by but if you really want to stop by Colmar then you know go for it mm -hmm.